We have another update on the public school situation on St. Croix. News Channel 8's Wes Small has more. With the American Federation teacher president of St. Croix, Tyrone Molino. Uh, and I got to tell you, there was a lot of rain um, over the last little bit of days, but still the schools took a bit of a beating. Yeah, I'm going to um, see this first uh, for a few minutes. It's going to be edited. But uh, we went to Atlanta Christian. A chance to visit um, Green Valley Elementary School in the fourth place, and it was a specific problem coming into the kitchen area. As a matter of fact, this is an ongoing situation, and it got more problematic because of certain inf infrastructures that was put in place since school started. Nevertheless, um, what was so appalling was the principal directing some of the kitchen workers to go ahead and push water in there. In their, in their regular shoes, rather than provide them with boots and gloves. Yeah. Again, this water is coming off the hills, it's coming to people's yard, it's, it's contaminated, coming into an uh, environment where, you know, they have to not only clean out the place, but then also they have to go and prepare food in the same place. So I wow. thought it was, you know, you know, too much of a, a situation, too much of a, a demand to sit to the workers to go out and clean that water and go home without pay. I mean, someone needs to stand up for them, let them know that you know, no one can make you work under conditions that are not safe and not sanitary. Wait, now, they, they, they were not refusing to work. Yeah. All they wanted was the necessary tools, such as boots and gloves to put on, so they can move the water out of the kitchen area. So if, they did, if they said they weren't going to move the water, they possibly, they could have been sent home that day? Well, that's what the principal said. If you move the water out in the kitchen, right now we're going to send you home with the pay. workers are provided boots. She was just working around because she was not moving any water. Since she should have given those boots to some of the workers who was using, you know, using the shoes. I don't really believe that the government should be putting these individual shoes. So they get sick for the pictures of the people who work on the You can believe it was flat and human descended on the water under unsafe conditions. We don't care. We don't care. We send you up. It's uh, uh, you know, a lot of power. Okay, now that's that school. That school we're looking at next. Here. Go for it. Yeah, let's look at you get a question and then some work in terms of modifying our medications for the leaks. There's a school that is still leaking. Some classrooms are uh, still leaking. The library still has some leaks in it. And, uh, so, again, you know. You know, school fits. Um, there's one classrooms. You will notice there's a bird nest inside a classroom. I mean, to the I gotta look at this. It's funny, but it's really not funny. Uh, you're looking at the picture right now in the ceiling fan there of this beautiful bird and her babies up there. They have a nest in the ceiling fan. Yes, and I think that's that's. I uncalled. take it that the ceiling fan does not work. Well, I, I, you're absolutely correct. Now suppose yeah. that ceiling fan comes on. Well, What's going to happen to the mama bird and all the birds and the eggs are going to fall on the kid's head? And to me, it's a distraction in the classroom. Um, someone needs to do something to remove the bird from the classroom and to make sure the classroom is conducive for learning. Now everybody sees this bird up there. How come no one gets, it takes the bird out? Again, as we're talking about, who's responsible? You know, you know who's accountable? <laughs> Agriculture? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what we're looking at right now. We can only hope that these kinks get worked out. Because, you know, uh, with Ivan down the island, we've still got about a week or two of solid rain coming in the forecast. So let's hope that uh, we get together an education and make sure the schools are accessible to our children for learning. It's time to take a look at this week's Wednesday's Pet and some information on a doggy wash that takes place this weekend. Hi, I'm Mackenzie and this is Fat Boy. He's available for adoption at the animal shelter. He's a year old male tabby. He's already neutered so he's ready to go. He's got all his shots and everything. He's real playful and very friendly. Um, so if you'd like to adopt a cat, a dog, a puppy, come by the shelter Monday through Saturday, anytime from noon to five. We're also holding uh, East End Doggy Wash at Shanae Bay Beach Resort this Saturday from 1230 to six. It's $15 and you can get your dog um, pampered. We'll bathe him and clip his nails, um, clean the ears. And uh, I think they're having special on hot dogs and everything too. So um, bring the family on down and we'll be waiting for you there. And this is Fat Boy.